Highlights from the 71st Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association is brought to you by Cronus. This is the world's largest, most prestigious diabetes meeting, where professionals learn about the latest advances in over 200 cutting-edge sessions, presented by world-renowned diabetes experts. Hi, I'm Dr. John Anderson, and I'm the current Vice President of Medicine and Science for the American Diabetes Association. We're here at the scientific sessions, and I just wanted to highlight a couple of symposia that I thought might have real implications for clinical practice. One of them is entitled, Beta Cell Function, Fact and Fictions in type 2 diabetes. And this topic is going to explore what do we know about the preservation of beta cell function and beta cell mass. We have animal studies that show that there are certain agents that can preserve beta cell function and mass and that has tremendous implications for the ongoing treatment of type 2 diabetes. As a practicing, as a practicing internist, those kinds of pieces of information are incredibly important for me to make decisions about how to treat my patients and which therapeutic agents to choose. And there's a second session that deals with diabetes drugs. Do we need more? Two of the leading authorities in the diabetes field will be debating that topic. We know that there's a tremendous amount of research and development going on to produce new therapeutics and new medications for those of us who practice medicine to use with our patients. The debate will be how much more do we need do these new drugs offer an alternative and a therapeutic option that's different from what we've had before? I find that topic fascinating and I find it very clinically useful for those of us who practice every day. You're watching highlights from the 71st scientific sessions of the American Diabetes Association. Plan now to attend the world's greatest annual research and clinical meeting on diabetes, the 72nd Scientific Sessions in Philadelphia. You've been watching highlights from the 71st Scientific Sessions of the American Diabetes Association.